The Dragon Painter, retold by Rosie Dickens, illustrated by John Nez. Everyone loved Chang's pictures. People came from all over China to see them. Chang painted misty mountains. He painted vases full of flowers. But his animal pictures were best of all. His butterflies and birds really seemed alive. And you could almost see his rabbits twitch their noses. One day, Chang saw the village priest at the temple. The priest was upset. Look at that statue, he said sadly. It's so dirty. Two pigeons had built a nest in the roof, right above the statue. They were making a terrible mess. I have an idea. Chang went to find his paints and a ladder. He climbed up to the roof and painted a fierce eagle. Be careful. He gave it long, long claws and a sharp, sharp beak. The pigeons were terrified. They squawked. They flapped. They flew away and never came back. Squawk! Chang's pictures became famous. One day, the Emperor of China heard about them. His animal pictures are the best. Now the Emperor needed someone to paint his new temple. I shall ask Chang, he decided. You're just the man for the job. Chang planned a splendid picture. It had four dragons. One, two, three, four. One for each wall. A huge crowd gathered at the temple to watch Chang paint. On the first wall, Chang drew a pearl white dragon. The dragon breathed out clouds of steam. It looked perfect, except for one thing. The dragon had no eyes. The second dragon was jade green. This one had bushy eyebrows and a big, spiky nose. But the green dragon's eyes were empty too. His face looks funny. On the third wall, Chang painted a huge gold dragon. He gave it a long, coiled tail, curling around its body. The gold dragon didn't have any eyes either. Why don't they have eyes? What's going on? The last dragon had gleaming red scales and wicked claws. He's scary. But just like the others, the red dragon's eyes were empty. Chang turned to the emperor and bowed. Do you like the dragons, my lord? he asked. I do, the Emperor replied. There's just one problem. You haven't finished the eyes. I can't paint their eyes, said Chang. Dragons are magical creatures. If I paint their eyes, they will come to life. Live dragons are dangerous. The Emperor didn't believe Chang. He thought the painter was teasing him. Stuff and nonsense. Don't be silly, he snapped. I order you to finish these dragons. I can't, cried Chang, but it was no good. He had to obey the emperor. With a wobbly hand, he painted eyes on the first dragon. There was a rumble of thunder and the sky grew dark. Boom! 
What's that noise? Chang paused. He was worried. What are you waiting for? The emperor grumbled. Get on with it. This is a terrible idea. So Chang turned and dotted in the eyes of the jade dragon, the gold dragon, and the red dragon. Chang finished and crack! A bolt of lightning split open the temple roof. The jade dragon blinked and raised its head. Its spiky nose cracked one of the temple columns. What's happening? Then the pearl dragon yawned, showing rows of sharp white teeth. It breathed out clouds of burning steam. The people nearby ran for their lives. Help! It's alive! Suddenly, both dragons jumped from their walls and flew through the hole in the roof. They flew higher and higher until they disappeared into the clouds. The red and gold dragons began to stir. Quickly, Chang grabbed his brush. He painted heavy chains around their necks. The dragons rattled their chains, but they couldn't fly away. Clink, clink. So the emperor had to make do with only two dragons on his temple walls. He can't say I didn't warn him. But they were the best painted dragons in all of China.